Corin Backner, a typical teenager from a Chicago suburb, experienced a life-altering incident that left her with severe burns covering a significant portion of her body. After spending several days in the ICU, she returned home to a lengthy recovery process. However, Corin's friends ensured that she wouldn't miss one of the most significant events in a teenager's life. At the time of the accident, Corin was a well-liked sophomore at Glenbard East High School in Illinois. She was an active cheerleader for the high school football team and enjoyed spending time with her friends. Life was seemingly normal for the 15-year-old until one fateful night. The tragedy unfolded while Corin and approximately a dozen friends were gathered around a backyard fire pit in the Glendale Heights neighborhood. A sudden flare-up caused flames to erupt from the bonfire and onto the teenagers. The incident, which occurred shortly after 10 o'clock p.m., led to a chaotic scene that prompted emergency responders' arrival. The accident was reportedly triggered by a mishandled container of oil. Corin's mother, Ellen Bachner, explained, one of the boys attempted to pour gasoline on the fire to make it bigger, and it exploded, engulfing the kids in flames. Corin suffered second and third degree burns predominantly on her face, hands, and neck. She was rushed to the burn unit at Loyola University Medical Center, where her mother received the distressing news about the severity of her daughter's injuries. Ellen recalled the heart-wrenching moment, stating, I didn't comprehend the full extent of her burns until I saw her in the trauma center. It's every mother's worst nightmare. You never want to see your children hurt. Regrettably, Corin wasn't the only teenager who suffered major injuries that night as flames erupted violently into the air. Approximately 10 children were harmed in the explosion, with around four of them sustaining severe injuries. One parent reported that one boy suffered extensive burns, two girls required facial reconstruction surgery, and one remains in a coma with a breathing tube. GoFundMe campaigns were initiated to raise funds for Corin, Autumn, and some other victims to cover their medical expenses. The high school and the local community rallied to support the injured students. Corin spent 13 days in the hospital, including several days in the ICU before being discharged. Although she survived, her path to recovery was extensive and challenging. Her parents played a crucial role in assisting her throughout the healing process, including the regular replacement of bandages on her face. One day after her hospital release, Corin was scheduled to attend the Glenbard East High School prom. Jonathan Ayala, a friend and senior at her school, had already invited her to the prom, which she had initially accepted. However, due to her recent injuries, attending a prom seemed unlikely. Undeterred, Corin's friends were determined to ensure that she didn't miss this special occasion. They orchestrated a surprise effort, transforming the Bachner household basement into a makeshift prom venue. Jonathan Ayala took the lead in planning this heartwarming endeavor. Corin's mother explained, he told me in the hospital that he was determined to bring the prom to her, even if it had to be held in the hospital. Then, when we returned home, he asked if he could decorate the basement. Ayala's thoughtful gestures were met with overwhelming appreciation, especially because Corin had no prior knowledge of her friend's plans. She believed that a few friends were visiting before the dance to say hello and take pictures, but the reality exceeded her expectations. Corin was touched and surprised to find her basement adorned with sparkling lights. The emotional moment brought tears to their eyes, but they were tears of happiness. Corin's mother recalled, there were definitely some tears, but they were tears of joy. Moreover, Ayala sacrificed his own senior prom night to spend time with Corin during her recovery. She has the opportunity to attend two more proms, but I don't know if any future prom will ever be as special as this one, Ellen remarked. Corin's friend's support played a crucial role in lifting her spirits during her challenging recovery. Having the support of all my friends helps a lot. It distracts my mind from everything. Corin shared with ABC7 News. Her healing journey will continue as she attends speech therapy twice a week to massage the healing skin around her mouth. Fortunately, the bandages on Corin's hands have been removed and she is steadily progressing. Corin is fortunate to be further along in her recovery compared to some of the other burn victims. Her friend Autumn Hamilton sustained third degree burns over most of her body and remains in critical care. However, Autumn has made remarkable strides, having been removed from her ventilator and showing determination during physical therapy. Autumn's sedative doses have been reduced, allowing her to participate actively in her recovery. She is now more alert, responsive, and committed to her rehabilitation efforts. Although the healing process is gradual, both Autumn and Corin benefit from the unwavering support of their friends as they continue their recovery journeys.